Hi, I'm Frankie, and in this video we're going to look at how to reduce condensation in your home and how to get the moisture out of your home before it causes you any damp or mould problems. So the best thing you can do is put less moisture into the air in the first place. So let's start with showers and baths. Ventilate by opening a window or using an extractor fan if you have one. Also close your bathroom door to stop the moisture going into the rest of your home. After your bath or shower, leave the window open a bit, at least for half an hour or so. If you have shorter showers, you'll produce less moisture and save water and energy too. When you're cooking in the kitchen, open the window and keep the door closed. Or you can use an extractor if you have one. Make sure it actually extracts the moisture to the outside. You can check by looking outside for the vent or ask your landlord. Also, if you put lids on pans, that'll help a lot. If you get condensation on your windows, you should dry it up straight away with a towel. Don't forget to hang the towel outside to dry, otherwise all the moisture will evaporate back into the air again. If you can, it's best to dry your clothes outside, but if you have to dry them inside, put them on a rack in the sunniest room of the house. Then open a window wide and shut the door to that room. It's best to avoid putting laundry directly on your radiators. Another tip is to use a high spin speed on your washing machine to get as much moisture out of the clothes as possible. It's a good idea not to obstruct radiators. Keep your furniture and other objects away from them so that the heat can get out into the room. When it comes to furniture, it's also a good idea to keep it away from outside walls because these walls tend to be cooler. That way, if there's any condensation, it'll be able to dry. The best way of dealing with moisture is to have gentle heating on for a longer time than short bursts of high heat. You might want to consider adjusting your timer to set it on for longer, especially in the morning and the evening. You could adjust your thermostat to get a slightly cooler temperature that's still comfortable. To ventilate really well, open your windows, especially when the outside temperature is a bit warmer. So in winter, around the middle of the day is best if you're at home. Trickle vents in the windows are great if you have them, setting them to open in the daytime. Or you could also lock the windows in the open position if yours are able to do that. It's all about trying to let the moisture out when there's lots of it around, and then closing the vents or windows when the temperature drops or when there's cold wind. If you have a ventilation grill, then don't cover it up. It could be there because you've got a gas fire or other heater, or maybe a cooker. It's essential for it to work safely and avoid a buildup of dangerous carbon monoxide. When condensation wets your walls, your tiles, or your window frame and stays wet, that's when mold can develop. Mold is a living thing and it produces spores which can be harmful. The way you clean up mold is really important to stop it from spreading. Use an antifungal product or one designed to kill off mould. These products will kill the spores. Use a disposable cloth and throw it away afterwards, otherwise you could spread mould into other parts of your house. Always clean it while it's damp so that the spores don't get released into the air as much. Keep the door closed but open the window. So have a look at the next video on how to heat your home better. If you get your heating right, it can reduce condensation and hopefully save you money on your bills too.